All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, the by honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth, in sincerity and wholeheartedly, shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers, shalom to you. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Man, Satan is pissing me off today. <laughs> as soon as I start, you know, saying the intro into the video, my damn neighbor start blasting his music even louder, man. So Lord willing, um, y'all can't hear it. So bear with me. But um, you need to know this basic thing. Something that I realized that most people don't understand when it comes to life and the operations of it and the people that's in positions and like you see you see how life is right and it seems like it's random like people just doing what they want to do that's not the case like the lord is in control of everything you know um like even the powers that be so it don't matter if kamala or trump win whoever wins or if it ain't even an election which is my belief you know, some some um, event might happen before, you know, the election that will stop the whole thing. So even if Joe Biden uh, stay as president, all of this is ordained. So let's get a class of scripture because you have to understand that the Lord is in control. And that is what gives you true peace. Understanding that the Lord is in control, even when things seem like it's, you know, chaotic, you know, it seems like, you know, things is just. You know, going to shits, everything is spiraling out of control, but it's it seems like it's out of control, but it's actually in control. And it says this matter is by the decree of the watchers. Talk about the prophets and the demand by the holy uh, by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it and give it to whomsoever he will and set up, up over it the basis of men, because all these nations are base men compared to the Israelites. They're not even supposed to be ruling. But as it say in Ecclesiastes um, in 9-11, uh, it said a time and chance shall happen to them all. So the Lord is fair. But the, the basis of all the base men is Esau, Edom. He's ruling right now. Second Ezra 6-9 said Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So, that shows you who will be ruling before our kingdom will come on the earth. So, you know, also, let's get this real quick. Only reason I want to make this video, because like when I talk to people, they really be acting like there's there's a such thing as free will. And it said for promotion come of neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. Matter of fact, since I made that statement, um. You was created like you was born into the earth. The Lord put the spirit on a man and a woman to come together. You know, the operation of bringing a child together, the consummation of sex, a man shooting his seed into a woman's egg. And then that woman nurture it for nine months and then it come to the earth or it could come before nine months. It could be a preemie, whatever the case may be. The point is, is that so you're going to tell me that you, a man or a woman who was born like everybody else came onto a earth that was already made in the operations thereof. And you think you are in control that like, they don't even make no sense. Who, who would make a creation that they don't control? But anyways, but the most high is the judge. He put up down one and set up, up another for in the hand of Yahweh. There is a cup and wine is red. And it is full of mixture. And he poured out of the same, but the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. So the Lord is basically telling you like, yeah, I set up these people, but eventually they're going to have to get the dregs of the cup. Like we had to get the dregs of the cup. So just to, you know, prove that real quick. Because we, we being, man, we've been under curses for a long time and now our redemption is about to come. So for thus save Yahweh, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have a surely drunken and that's talking about us 
And art you and art thou he that shall all together go and punish? Because that's what people think. That's why it's even hard for some of our people to believe that we are the people of the Lord, that we are the Israelites and that the, and this is our book because you've seen all the things that we've been through, but not understanding why we went through it because of our disobedience. All right. And also going back to my original statement. The Lord wanted us to go off because this is the way that he's going to show his mercies upon the vessels of mercy, as it's saying Romans 9 and 22. OK. And, t and 23. So this is the way that the Lord wanted it. Just like every director of a movie. They want their movie to be played out a certain way. All right. The executive producer, the writer, director, all of that, you know, and nobody question him. They cannot like the movie, but guess what? The way that they want the movie to play out, it's going to play out. So it's the same thing with the Most High. This is the will of the Lord. And guess what? When he do bring forth his mercies, all this shit that we've been through, you're going to be like, man, that wasn't nothing. All right. And that's the way that the Lord wanted. He's going to bless his children, especially those who believe in him. So, yeah, we're going through things right now, but hey, we almost out of here. So, and are you thou he that should not altogether go and punish you shall not go and punish but you should surely drink of it because you reap what you sow all right just because the lord didn't give you know people's dates times seconds years of when judgment gonna come you think that you're gonna get away so what really expired this lesson is because when you read this and this is a perfect topic to go into especially in the times that we're heading into i bet you People will read this and get uh, misconstrued on what this really is talking about. So let's get into it. Let every soul be subjected to the higher powers, for there is no power but of the most high. The powers that be are ordained of the most high. That's why I started off with the first scripture in Daniels 4 and 17. That he said of it whosoever he will. All right. So the Lord is the one to ordain Babylon the great. Matter of fact, uh. Jeremiah 51 and 7 said that Babylon the Great have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. So he the one that set up these kingdoms and they also got bounds that they cannot pass. And also everybody that's on the earth have bounds that they cannot pass. Another thing that I was meditating on. So, you know, it could be a serial killer, right? He killed 82 people. So you might be looking at this dude like, damn, he was having his way. He was bugged out. He was doing whatever he wanted. The Lord said that he created spirits for vengeance to appease the wrath of him. All right. So, and then also the scripture says that, um, that's, um, Ecclesiastes 39 and 28 that I just quoted. And I, and, and I think Psalm 68 and 20 is the Lord said that the issues of death come of him. All right. So the Lord controls who are going to die, who going to stay alive. So those 80 people that got killed, that's just judgment of the Lord. As it's saying, Amos three and six, should there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it. So these are the things that give you peace, especially when you are in sync with that power. You love that power. You do it, what that power says to the best of your ability. All right. Which gives you confidence in the Lord. So that gives you true peace at the end of the day. So whosoever therefore resist of the power. So like, say, if you try to like band up and try to take down the government, you're going to lose because that's not the will of the Lord. And it says resist of the ordinance of the most high. So this is something that the Lord have set up. And if you if he set it up, you can't bring it down until the Lord wanted to be brought down. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. See, so you're going to get judged for that. For rulers are not a terror to good work. So I always look, I always um think about this scripture when it comes to our people getting blown away unalive by the police it said for the rulers are not a terror to good works but to the evil so when you see a a, a police officer you know killing a jake and you want to go get a sign and protest and saying black lives matter which it doesn't because we're not black we're israelites and ain't nobody on the earth black you got very dark brown to light brown so and then you have the edomites who have no pigmentation and that's what you call a clean leopard so the point is is this is that if you do right, I, it's been plenty of times that I've been stopped by the police and I never had a real bad interaction with them, you know? 
Like, sometimes I get a pat on the back. Sometimes the officer, you know, he's, I talk friendly to him. He talked friendly to me and let me go get a ticket sometimes, you know, but most of the time don't. And, and, and this was back when I was in the world. All right. I haven't been pulled over since I've been in the truth. But yeah, but even back in the world. So the Lord was always watching over me, the water for that. But the point is, is that a uh, good sense tell you to. Don't rile this man up. The one thing that I hate about Jake. What the fuck you pulled me over for? Damn, man. No, I ain't getting out. No, I ain't rolling down my window. Then, then now your window getting busted. Now you're getting pulled out of the car and your ass is still fighting. And then you get blown away. And then somebody supposed to feel sad for your ass. But the point is, is that. For the rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will you then not be afraid of the power? And our people are not. Do that which is good and you shall have the praise of the same for he is the minister of the most high minister means a servant. So everybody's a servant of the most high. The rulers are a servant of the most high. All right. Trump, Kamala, Joe Biden, all the Caesars back in Rome. All right. All the uh, the kings back in the Greeks and, and on down. All right. They all serve the Lord. They're all controlled. They all have bounds. Let's get this real quick because we read this for the wicked, but this, this applies to everybody. Seeing his days are determined. The number of his months are with you. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So this goes for everybody, everybody, everybody got bounds that they cannot pass. That's why you don't, you ain't seeing everybody flying all over the damn place. People disappearing. People got superpowers because if it was up to us, <laughs> you know, we'd be disappearing, flying, you know, teleported, you know, doing all kind of shit. You know, if, if, if you leave it up to man, and especially Esau, Edom with all the technology that the Lord have blessed him with through Satan. You know, he got bounced that he cannot pass. So. Where was that? So for he is the minister of the most high, therefore uh, of the most high to you for good. But if thou do that, which is evil, be afraid for he bear of not the sword in vain. Have we been seeing that over since we came over here? All right. For he is the minister of the most high, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that do of evil. Wherefore, you must needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscious sakes. And that's what gives you, you know, true peace, you know. So this is basic, but it's also deep. And when I'm starting to realize ain't nothing in the scriptures basic. See, they become basic to us because we're studied. You know, we've been doing this for a while. Or if you're a person who's been listening to videos for years, you know, you you heard this before. You know, so it's, cer it's certain things that become basic unto us. But what I realize ain't none of this basic, because if you have understanding, which is the principal thing. All right. Then you will. Have true peace. So I'm going to get two more scriptures and end the video. Because this is what you need to know. The Lord is in control. Yahweh have prepared his throne in the heavens. That's where he dwell. And his kingdom rule of over all. So he have the last say so. And like I said, this, this is what give you true peace. So. And you should know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And that's talking about mentally. So all praises to Yahweh Bashem Shai and also spiritually. The Wadi Yahweh Bashem Shai for another opportunity to do a video and to know the truth, man. Thank the Lord all, every day. Shalom.